Hey guys, what's going on? It's Savage Gaming here, and today we're gonna to be talking about a comment that I got, uh, kind of commenting on Batman Arkham Knight's type of story and how it all relayed, uh, relied on Shock Factor. If you don't know what Shock Factor is, go look up Hatred. It's a game where you walk around in public shooting up random civilians, innocent civilians. You just kill them, kill them, kill them. And that game and that trailer relied on Shock Factor. Now, Shock Factor is basically doing something crazy that gets the media's attention, that gets the fans' attention, that gets everybody's attention, that makes your game, song, movie, video out there more, and kind of makes it a trend. Now, let's get into Batman Arkham Knight. I agree that Batman Arkham Knight did use Shock Factor to its fullest and did it on purpose so people would talk about their game. You don't believe me? Let's get into this. Batman Arkham Knight, things that made it shock factory. Number one, it was Joker. Guys, they, they, it was Joker. That's a shock factor. No one expected Joker unless you saw the spoilers online. Guys, it was straight up shock factor. You turn around, you see Joker holding a gun to your face. Shock factor. No one expected to say, oh my God, that's Joker. Oh my god, god, it's Joker. Like, I that's shock factor right there. And if you don't believe that, you're fucking insane. Because that's straight up shock factor. Number two is Jason Todd's revealed as the Arkham Knight. <laughs> what? What are they thinking? Oh, shock factor. That's what that was. They were just using Jason Todd as a type of hook. You know, they they hook you in. Like, hey, this is gonna be original character. Wait till he unmasks himself. Ah, uh, it's Jason Todd. What the fuck? Had people talking for weeks. There's, we're still talking about it. Like, we're still talking about Jason Todd as the Arkham Knight and how shit that was, how predictable that was. That was so shocking for us fans as Batman fans and Arkham fans that we're like, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing, Rocksteady? That made people talk about the game. That may cause hype and like extreme satisfaction and disappointment throughout the whole entire Arkham community. It made people mad and it was shock factor. And the last one, you probably saw it coming, uh, Batman's death. Guys, Batman's death was the ultimate shock factor. When you, as a developer, is doing this, you are looking for the most shocking thing possible. Guess what the most shocking thing possible is for Batman? Killing him. Same thing with Arkham City. When they killed the Joker, that was sort of shock factor, but it wasn't to the extent of Batman's death, because Batman's death was so sudden. It was just a huge explosion, and then cut to black. This is how it happens. This is how Batman dies. Wow, shock factor. Like, what were they? My jaw was dropping when I saw that scene too. I was like, what the fuck were they? Okay, I gotta make a video on this. And that's what they wanted. They wanted people to make videos about them. They wanted people to talk about them. They wanted people to talk about this game because then it creates hype and people wanna buy the game and they wanna do it for themselves. And that's what Shock Factor is. So tell me guys in the comments below, do you guys agree that Batman Arkham Knight relied on Shock Factor? I personally do. I really think they did that on purpose. I think everything in this game they did on purpose. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.